In the next three minutes, we're going to create a Marmalade Hello World project, test in the desktop Marmalade simulator, and then deploy simultaneously as iOS and Android native apps. Each Marmalade app starts with a simple text-based project file. In this case, our project file simply lists a single source code file and a single Marmalade library as a dependency. We can now double-click this file to automatically create a Visual Studio workspace for the Marmalade app. The Visual Studio workspace contains our single source code file. Let's take a look. At the top, we include a single header for the Marmalade drawing library. The entry point of our app is a standard C main function. First, we initialize the Marmalade drawing library. We then have a while loop that runs indefinitely, waiting to be quit by the OS. We make a couple of simple calls to the drawing library to render a text string and flip the screen buffers. And finally, we shut down the drawing library and return. Let's look at the build configurations that Marmalade has provided. We have six build configurations from x86 debug all the way through to ARM release builds. Let's start with an x86 debug build. We hit the standard hotkey to build and the standard hotkey to run in the debugger. And here's our Hello World app running in the desktop Marmalade simulator. We can use the Windows menus to simulate any kind of device form factor, changing screen resolution, touch screen type, etc but we're not going to explore those in this video. The app looks fine, so let's quit back to the editor. Once we're happy with an x86 debug build, let's jump to an ARM release build in preparation for deployment. Marmalade tightly integrates the ARM compiler and emulator with Visual Studio, so we can hit the standard hotkey to compile. Now that we've successfully built an ARM release binary, we're ready to launch the Marmalade deployment tool. And here we can see the two versions of the app we've built, x86 debug and ARM release. I'll select the ARM release version. And now we're ready for the magic. I simply check the Android and iOS boxes in the list of supported platforms and hit deploy all. Marmalade packages up the ARM release binary for deployment as a standard Android native app and then does the same for iOS. Let's look at the deployed files. Marmalade has created an IPA file for iOS and an APK file for Android. The APK file can be sent straight to an Android device over USB, and the IPA file can be deployed to an iOS device using iTunes, even straight from a PC. And there you have it. That's how you build, test, and deploy a Marmalade app to iOS and Android in under three minutes.